is a uh, so file organization are of three types okay you have the sequential file organization the direct file organization and index sequential access method or isam okay the word sequential here means what one after another okay so in this file organization records are stored one after another in ascending or descending order determined by the key field of the record example student record is stored in the form of register number then you have the direct access file organization here it will allow to directly access the individual access to the files they are stored and retrieved retrieved using the record number and the third type is called as the index sequential access method so this has been usually asked for three marks okay so here it is between sequential and direct access method that means what the records within the file are stored sequentially but direct access to the record is possible using an index okay so here i'll tell you briefly again sequential means here records are stored one after another in an ascending or descending order determined by the key field of the record so if for example register number if it is like let us say we are a register number there are 10 students so from 1 to 2 3 4 10 okay so 10 records are arranged one after another but here you if you want to go to the second record or if you want to go to the uh, fourth record okay and you are say you are in the fifth record and you want to go to the second record you have to first finish it here and then you have to go back to the first second third that's what you are going to say that they stored one after another here in direct access or random file organization you can directly access the records okay you can store and retrieve them using the record number in indexed thing it is between sequential and direct access so here what is happened the records are stored sequentially but direct access is possible with the index so just like in your uh, textbooks you have an index and you can you know you you are not did not go back again to uh, you know retrieve these records directly okay using the index you will have you will be able to retrieve the records okay advantage of isam it permits efficient and economical use of sequential processing techniques next we talk about database models see what is a model model of a car if you say it is something which tells you how it is going to look finally so here also the database model is an abstract model that will describe how data is represented and used so it describes the logical design of the data okay in simple terms data model describes the logical design of the data so basically there are three types of model you have hierarchical model network model and relational model okay so hierarchical see the word hierarchical always means something which is in an order so at home when you say like um, your grandfather is the eldest in your family or your grandmother is the eldest in the family that means what they after them is what your parents are then you then your kids so this is called as an hierarchy so here also the data model is nothing but it is going to be in a hierarchy this is developed by ibm in 1968 and here this important thing is it follows a tree like structure so just like you have a tree with roots here and you have a tree like this you know maybe this tree is you know with all its branches i'll show you okay you have the tree with all the branches not so great right but then here also if you see this particular thing it it is an upside down tree okay so here you have the roots okay you have the roots here and then from here you will have these branches which comes okay so it is a ulta tree yes the top of the tree structure contains a single node that does not have a parent node and is called as the root node so this is called as the root node of the hierarchical data structure the node can have any number of dependent nodes so from the root node if you observe there are different nodes which are available so these are all actually the records okay the root node can have any number of dependent nodes and each child node also known as dependents can have only one parent node so for example here these are all called as see for this root node this b and c are called as the child nodes and for b d and e are called the 
child node but v is called what the v is called as the parent node of what of d and e okay so they are also connected to one another through links the link is an association between one or more records okay the main uh, disadvantage though it looks simple the main disadvantage of hierarchical model is that it is very complex to actually design these models and also like there is no link between one node and another node here so if you see here this node c cannot have a link with the node b or its children so this is not very feasible model then you have the network model so this network model is data is represented as a collection of uh, records and the relationship among data is represented by no, links and here all the nodes are linked to each other okay so this is actually data is in the form of graphs and here each parent node can have many child node so if you observe here you have one node okay and then you have node 2 and let us say we have node 3 all of this will be related to one another so node 1 will have one link here it will have one link with node 3 and node 3 will have a link with say node 4 and it will have a link with node 2 also so it is like a very complicated model okay the last one is your relational model which is in use now okay most of the databases design the our relational model is in the form of tables okay the tables are also known as relations and what does this table contain it contains rows and columns so you can imagine the table to be like this okay it is made up of rows and columns now each row represents this is your row and this is your column okay the vertical lines are known as column and the horizontal lines are known as rows now each row represents an entity I told you in my previous uh, video an entity is nothing but a form or an object and each column represents uh, an attribute of the entity so this actually tells you the property of this entity okay so this is was how your relational model looks like here I'm showing you an example you have the employee table the customer table the accounts table and all of this contains the fields these fields are known as attributes okay and they are having something called as a relationship if you can see here there are the relationships between these different tables okay and then coming to normalization see if you remember the previous slide here i told you that um, you know this is the what we are talking about the normalization rule and the entity relationship so now we talk about the logical data independence so logical data independence is uh, in that we talk about uh, normalization. See, normalization is the process of organizing the data in a database. So, there are different types of normal forms. You have the first normal form, second normal form, third normal form and the BCNF also known as the boy scout normal form or 3.5 normal form. So, normalization is the process of organizing data in the database. That means, uh, if you remember in the previous video, I told you about the features of the database like how to eliminate redundancy. So, this is one of the ways where we are doing that through normalization. These are quite advanced topics and it is... Uh, not uh, why I mean it's not very this one to complete it within this short period of time anyhow uh, uh, I hope so you have understood this particular video I will be continuing with the rest of the database chapter in my next video uh, thank you for watching if you like my video please so share and subscribe and all the best for your exams